Hey guys, in this video I'll be reviewing the Peepo X7. This is a, a Windows 8 mini PC. Uh, it goes about for 100, bu 100 bucks. I got it from uh, AliExpress. Um, yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty quick. It's actually faster. I can not in terms of uh, in terms of speed, like opening up applications and stuff like that. This is faster than I would say, like my regular laptop with uh, with a you know with a regular hard drive. I know that the these mini PCs use um, flash memory, so there are no moving parts in there. Um, so I'm just going to show you guys some of the things on this device. So over here you have the on off switch. Um, you have two USB ports. Uh, uh, air uh, headphone headphone jack. There you go. Uh, some air vents. Uh, there is no fan in this, so it does get hot. And uh, there are actually modifications you can make if you uh, open up this thing. It has uh, about four screws there. So you would open it up and use some heat pads. Uh, I might make a video of that later. Uh, we'll see based off the demand for it. But there might be other YouTube videos of other guys doing it. Anyway, here's a TF card slot micro SD. Uh, another two more USB ports. Very convenient. Um, HDMI port. Ethernet. And there's the power. Uh, power port. And um, you got some vents on the bottom here. See there's the Peepo X7. And there is the Wi-Fi antenna right there. Pretty stiff. It's good. Anyway, I'm going to show you guys a um, uh, I'm going to show you the operating system and how fast everything moves and everything like that. Yeah, I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm going to start it up now. Hold the button for three seconds, and let's see how fast this thing loads up. Yeah, there's the people logo. There you go. It's actually pretty quick. It's about 15 to 20 seconds to, to load up, start up. Um, let's see, let's go to Internet Explorer and see what's happening there. I actually installed some... Uh, some apps on it like LibreOffice. So this thing does come with uh, Office 365. So this thing does come with Office 365, but <coughs> sorry, excuse me, <coughs> I didn't activate it yet. So uh, I'm just going to use uh, LibreOffice. I mean, it's just as good. But anyway, before I do that, I want to show you guys the specs of the computer. So let me find my computer. Here it is. That. Uh, oops, didn't do that properly. So it's an Intel Atom CPU Z3736F running at 1.33 gigahertz. I believe it is a Turbo Boost to uh, 1.8 or 2.2. I'm not sure. I need to check that out. Uh, two gigabytes of RAM and a 32-bit operating system. Those are the specs. And now I'm going to show you how fast, uh, let's say, Chrome loads up. And then I'm going to take you to a website just to see the, some of the speed, how fast everything is. Okay, so it's asking me to sign in. Uh, let's go to msn.com. pretty smooth you know um, this thing runs YouTube videos 1080p no problem no stuttering whatsoever uh, I think it can even go higher than that I haven't tried yet uh, I guess for the sake of this video I will try uh, I just don't wanna let's go to um, 4k 
let's check this one out. Let's just see if I can go to 4K with this. Uh, I will, I will get, I will be bottlenecked because my internet is not that fast, and um, I don't want to hog the bandwidth. So let's just go to 2K or 1440. Let's see how that's going to work out. So with Internet Explorer, there is a stutter. Um, I wouldn't recommend using this. Oh no, sorry, that was Chrome. Is that that's Chrome that I'm using now? So with Chrome, there is a stutter. It's not going to play 2K videos properly. But if you use Internet, uh, if you use Internet Explorer, let's go to YouTube. Uh, that should play it fine. I think it should. It should even play the 4K video fine. Just type in 4K. getting different results with uh, with that let's go to the 4k and you know we'll just go to um, 1440 okay just to get an idea see and it's playing quite smoothly I guess it's a time-lapse so with Internet Explorer this thing runs really smooth. I don't know why Internet Explorer is faster. I don't know why it's more fluid than Chrome. I guess Chrome is they're just getting lazy or whatever. But the system is really, really good. I'm really happy for it and I will be using it as a rental PC. So anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed my review of the uh, Peepo X7 and for a hundred dollars I definitely recommend this mini PC. It's a great entertainment system uh, for your big screen television or if you just want to use it for a personal computer. Definitely recommend it. If you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up. Anyway, until next time.